Well, it's over. I ran the race. I got the medal. Um, I didn't, uh, my brother and I uh, were talking on the way over to the race on Saturday morning and uh, I've been training really well and I had um, pretty modest ambitions for the race. But um, <clears throat> over the last month, as training started to go better than I thought it was going up until that point, my ambitions for the race got a little more aggressive and a little more aggressive and a little more aggressive. And so I was going into the race thinking, you know, it could be anywhere from this time to this time. And uh, so we were talking about it on the way in. And I was like, you know, if I run up, to my potential that's awesome but I could also not run up to my potential and still set a massive personal best and that wouldn't be good but it would still be something to celebrate um and that's what happened I did not run up to my potential um and uh still had a 15 minute PR at the half marathon distance in fairness only my second attempt um it was a, uh, it was a hard one. It was a hard race. I, uh, not because the course is hard or anything. It's incredibly flat. Um, I don't know exactly what happened, but I uh, started to get really bad pain in my muscles. All of my joints felt fine, my knees and ankles and everything that had been hurting me didn't hurt me on race day. It was the muscles. Uh, I had um, quad pain really the whole second half of the race. Um, and then um, for over the last mile, just really intense Charlie horse spasms in my calf muscles mainly in one but as I approached the finish line both of them um and uh I just tried to run through the last hundred meters prior to that I was stopping and walking and yelling and people were turning around and looking at me but the last hundred meters I was like I'm just gonna get there and so um the race photographer was very generous in the amount of pictures they took of me making a pained face um, so I'll always have those memories, um, captured for me. But my brother did run with me for the whole race, which is, um, very generous of him. And I'm sure very frustrating for him. <laughs> um, because it, well, it did not go well. I think, uh, I started off, the first mile was, uh, right on the pace that I wanted to do for the first three miles. And then the next five miles were considerably faster than what I had planned to do. Um, because I felt good. I Honestly, I felt great the first half of the race. And then the second half of the race just felt like garbage. So um, that tells me a lot about what I need to do over the next however many months until the next one. Um... And also what to do on the day of. Because I think part of my issue was I didn't take on um, any hydration during the race or anything else. I did have uh, a couple of gels um, about an hour apart. But uh, yeah, I think nutrition and hydration will help a lot. And then also the, the way that we prepare... Um, it was pretty good, but I think there's room for improvement. Um, oh, obviously there's room for improvement. I'm not a perfect specimen. Um, but uh, so we'll think about it a little bit differently heading into the next one in October. But um, for now, for the meantime, the next race on my calendar is in July. Um, so, and is 10K. It's not anything like that kind of distance. So I'm going to be shortening up and quickening up um, after a brief break, which at this point I am on four days and
and I'm feeling ready to go run again. So probably tomorrow I will go back out and, and get a few miles in and real slow. And then maybe Sunday, something a little bit longer, but um, nothing like the long runs I've been doing over the last couple of months. So uh, start hitting it, start hitting it hard after after about a week of getting back into it start hitting it hard and then uh, take it from there i'm excited about the next one and honestly i am gr gr glad that i have a 15 minute pr <laughs> in the half marathon that is something to celebrate i was there on the 50th anniversary of this race and that's something to celebrate uh I saw a lot of people I know, my wife and kids came. There's all kinds of good things that happened. I just feel like I could have done better, should have done better, and didn't do better. And that's disappointing to me. Um, and it's stuck in my craw a little bit. But uh, I'll do another one and get the bad taste out of my mouth. That's the best way to solve it. So um, more to come. I'll see you out there.